The weather has not been great for hay growers and sellers in our area. In fact, most of 2018 and now the early part of 2019 has been downright bad. People are having a hard time feeding their livestock and more are paying more money just to keep them fed. KDK's Matt Thibodeau has our story. From too hot and too dry to an army worm invasion and now cold and flooded, hay growers haven't caught a break over the past nine months, and now they're way behind. Been a tough time for hay, and we are stretching supplies just as thin as we can and doing everything we can to supplement the hay that we do have. So far, the shortage has hit all of East Texas and beyond. Everybody's needing hay, so I don't think we're in this boat alone. And with the shortage, people are having to find other ways to keep their livestock fed. We were Cuban for a little while just to, I guess, take care of the hay, the, uh, hay situation, just trying to cube and stuff, but that kind of gets expensive, and the cows need more than just cubes. When there's a shortage on this scale, ranchers are forced to buy hay from far away, which can be like opening a mystery box when it finally arrives. And when you order from further and further away, you're further removed from who produced it, so you don't know the quality. And let's say the quality is good. Well, the shipping cost to truck it in, that's going to add tremendously to the price. Though some have found an old, almost forgotten alternative to hay. We actually had to go start using uh, silage, and I'd never heard of silage until all this took place, and uh, that's what we used, and the cows seemed to love it. Very old method from the days when we would see silos next to barns. Though it's not perfect, it's helping keep the cattle fed. Matt Thibodeau, KTK News.